what got it you what got you interested in running for politics? Well, uh, when I got back home, I had a short vacation. But when I got back home and I saw, you know, how the citizens were dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. I know you heard about the unsolved murders, right? Unsolved murders? Yeah, the unsolved murders. They got about 100 unsolved murders in the last 50, 60 years here in Valley Creek. Oh, wow. 100 unsolved murders. So I got involved in that. And we used to always go to the city commission meetings. And I used to wonder, uh, these people was coming down and they were pouring out their hearts, you know. Uh, they wanted to know why the city commission, the Battle Creek Police Department, you know, and other uh, city officials couldn't hear their plea about their family members being murdered and nothing right. happens about it. So then I found out that the citizens hadn't voted. Oh, wow. So I'm not saying this is what happened. But I'm saying the city commission looks at them and they say, you haven't even voted for a mayor. Hmm. You know, we control all that. Right. You know, so uh, let us take care of it, which they haven't done. Right. You know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lynn Ward. Lynn Ward Gray. Uh, incredible woman. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, fantastic politician. But like I told her, she asked me to endorse her. Yeah. So I told her, I said, well, I, I couldn't uh, rightly endorse you because I'm going to run for mayor myself. Right. You know, that makes sense. And, you know, so I said, but I, but I wish you well. Right. Now, this is the article that uh, myself and Stan Bolt, you can just scan, you just scan through what you want to. Uh, I wrote this because they act like those nine votes, those nine commissioners, Right. They act like that everything they do is supposed to be adhered to. Right, I see. Know? And what they found out is, is that a lot of people didn't know. They just thought that the mayor was uh, magically uh, appointed. Right. But what they didn't know was, was that it was appointed by the commissioners themselves. Got it, I see. Yeah. So I said, okay then, hold on. I said, the citizens don't pick the mayor. I went down to City Hall and said, since I've been mayor since 1960. Wow. So they said, well, a lot of blacks said, well, Don Sherrod appointed by the same group of nine people. Yeah. Uh, it may not have been that group, but it was nine city commissioners. Got it. Then they said Bristol Perry. She was appointed also. Yeah. So when I went around the neighborhood and I told people, I said, when's the last time you voted for a mayor? And they said, well, nobody could tell me. Now, hmm. remember, I'm 69. So that yeah. means I was nine years old. In fact, during that time, I know you were a youngster. Uh, there was a lot of what's going on now. Yeah. But not as bad. Yeah. We didn't have a virus. Right. It was always been political unrest, racial unrest. Yeah. But we didn't have a virus to fight. So now, you know that we have a virus to fight and that we have to somehow find a way to come together mm -hmm. but remain apart so we don't infect each other. It's taxing everybody. Yeah, for sure. You know, and, I, and I understand that. Yeah. But what I wanted the, the people of Battle Creek to know and the city commission to know is that you serve the people. Right. There's no way you can govern if you don't have some people to govern. Right. But in order for the people to realize that they have an equal say in what's going on, they should be able to choose their mayor. For when sure. they get on TV, look, sit at, at home and have dinner and look at TV, and they see mayors all over the country right. representing their citizens. But here, they tell the citizens that it's simply ceremonial. Right. And it's ceremonial because they choose it to be ceremonial. Right. They don't want that part of the public, at least I believe, involved in that part of the political process. Got it. Because it takes something away from them. Right. Remember now, we talking about nine people governing 51,000. Right. And to have, or should I say, to not have, you know, an equal voice in the political framework of Battle Creek, I think that would be very unfair. For I'd sure. be very unfair. And especially when people come down there with their concerns, mm -hmm. you know. i give you a perfect example. You can go anywhere outside the community, quote unquote, yeah. uh, Ward 2, and look at any of the parks. They're all cleaned up. Go down there on Washington by Claude Evans Park. To the north side of it is like a jungle. Yeah. You know, trees 
phone down, everything like that. And the, let me tell you what the city commission does. They always claim, not that I'm saying they don't, they don't take care of city government, yeah. but I'm saying I see the people not being taken care of. Let me right. tell you, we got more homeless people and more homeless vets in Battle Creek than you can shake a stick at. Yeah. But they closed Washington and they closed Southwestern and they could have opened those schools indeed, for homeless veterans for or, sure. or, or, or uh, single parents right. indeed, or the disabled. But for some reason, they choose not to do that. Right. And I say this, and I want everybody here, every school, but maybe one or two that I went to uh, when I was coming up, have closed. Got it. But ain't no schools closed out here in Springfield. Right. Ain't no schools closed out here in Lakeview. Right. You know, they bunch all the kids together. And now that the coronavirus has the world on tilt, we got to find out a way to teach these kids. Everybody got something to say, you know, but what's the solution? What can we do together?